Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to Cloud Learner Pro channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about Azure Active Directory users and Azure AD Groups creation. First, we'll try to understand what is Azure Active Directory. Azure Active Directory is one of the pass service that we get in Azure. When we are creating our Azure free trial account, we will get Azure AD free version. We also have different types of Azure AD versions that we get in purchased version in Azure. So those details I'm going to paste in the comment section for your reference. You can go through the Azure AD plans link posted in the comment section and understand in detail about each Azure AD plan. For your uh, knowledge purpose, I'm just highlighting what are the types of Azure AD plan that we have in Azure. We have Azure AD free version, Office 365 version, Azure AD Premium 1 and Azure AD Premium 2 in which Office 365, Azure AD Premium 1 and Premium 2 are the enterprise licenses that we have in Azure which will be in the purchased versions and Azure AD Free is the free version that we get when we create our Azure free trial accounts. So these are the uh, simple details about Azure Active Directory plan. So if I take some diagrams and explain you how to create a user and uh, what is the purpose of creating groups so let's understand that if i have a azure active directory when i'm creating a new user if i want to create a user called test user so that user will be called as internal user because this user will be added to the azure active directory that means i'm creating inside the active directory after that if i want to assign some permission to this particular user instead of assigning the access to the individual user in organizations we follow a best practice whereas we will create a group and we'll assign the permissions to the group after that we will add the users to the group so that users will get the permissions which are assigned to the groups so in our scenario we will create one group called as cloud group after that we can assign this particular user to the cloud group that means we will be adding the user to the cloud group so once the test user is added to the cloud group whatever the permissions we have assigned to the cloud group those permissions will be assigned to the test user so this is the first scenario we also have one more scenario where if we want to invite a user who is not part of our active directory that means it is a external ID or an external party. So if you want to add someone who is not part of your Active Directory, you can invite them to your Active Directory by sending an invitation. So using that invitation, a guest user can be part of your Azure Active Directory. So these are the scenarios that we will perform the lab. So I'm just going to highlight what are the labs that will perform in the Azure portal. So we'll perform four labs in total. First one is creation of a new user, that is test user, inviting a user to the active directory, then creating a active directory group. After that, adding the uh, user to the active directory group. So these are the four types of uh, lab that we'll perform in the Azure portal. So let's jump on to Azure portal. Now I'm in the Azure portal. So I'm going to Azure active directory. In the Azure active directory, I'm going to users blade in the users blade I'm going to click on new user I'll click on create a new user so here I'm going to give the details of the new user I'll say uh, new user is test hyphen user so this is the username that I'm going to create so I created with one of the free trial account so this is for one of my student account and then I'm giving the name here as test hyphen user then the first name is test and the last name is user so if you want to have a auto generated password you can go with auto generated password and you can click on show password copy the password for your reference or you can go with a, a i mean custom password which you want to create so by defaultly it will come with auto generated password then after that 
if you want to assign a user to a particular group you can assign the user to the group since i don't have any groups created i'm not going to add the user to the group then after that you can assign the location so if the user is from a particular location you can add the user after that you can give the job info like if the user is part of a uh, a particular department or what is the company name or what is the manager name all those details you can fill here for now i'm going to give it as test user and i'm going to say it as uh, test department and the company name is test these are the details i have just updated and i'm going to click on create you can see now the user is created and if i just refresh here i will be able to see the user account so let us wait for the user account to be created yes you can see the test user which is created this is the test user uh, so this is the uh, complete user id so this is the process of creating a user id in the uh, azure active directory now we will try to create a group so creation of group is also same come to the azure active directory and then go to groups option in the groups option click on new group here just provide the details of the group like if you want to create a security group or a microsoft 365 group so this is like for the email purpose we can create microsoft 365 this is called as distribution list and this is called as security group so this is basically for some permission requirement so i'm giving the group name as cloud group So this is the group name and i'm going to uh, give the description also as same i'll say cloud group test then i'm going to click on create if you want to add any owners you can add or if you want to add any members also you can add so in this way also we can add or after creation of groups also we can add so let me create the group firstly so once the group is successfully created uh, we will be able to see the group here so it will take a while um, to display the newly created group so let us wait for a while for it to display here so once the group is available here we will be able to add the user to the group so as of now i have completed two tasks one is create a user in azure active directory and the second one is create a azure active directory group now we will perform the third lab which is to add the user to the uh, group so for that you can go to the user or you can you can go to the group also both are same so if i come to the group for example i can go to the members in the members i can click on add member and i can search for the user which is called as test test user i'll click on test user i'll click on select see uh, now the test user is successfully added so it will take some while because whenever we create or add something it will take some while to refresh and show us the details here so it is added here again if i come back i will be able to see the user so i, I came back to this uh, membership again uh, so still it is showing as all members see you can see the user which is uh, added here the test user so this is the process of adding a user to the azure active directory groups now let's perform the last lab that is inviting a external user to the active directory for that you just need to go to the users blade in the users blade you have an option invite external user just click on invite external user so this will be selected invite user here you will provide the user name like uh, the username is cloud learner and the email id of uh, uh, the external party is cloud learner 001 at the rate outlook.com so this is the external user id email in case if you want to give little more details you can give uh, the first name and you can give the last name and then you can send the i mean if you want to just give any message you can say uh, invitation to ad but it is azure ad right ad so in case if you want to assign any permission to this particular guy you can add the group okay 
and you can assign any roles apart from users and you can just click on invite see now the invitation is being sent to the particular user id that we specified here so user id is added to the uh, group successfully so once i log into the particular um, uh, outlook so i will be able to see one invitation which has been came from uh, the particular directory so let us let me show you whether it is available yes see see here so i got a microsoft invitation uh, for the azure active directory see invitation sorry there is some spelling mistake so invitation to azure active directory so for which directory it is invited means it is invited to the particular directory or domain here so if you would if you would like to accept the invitation you can click on accept so that you will be having access to this azure active directory of this particular tenant or directory so this is the uh, lab guys so we have did three la uh, four labs total creation of azure active directory user creation of azure active directory group adding azure active directory user to the group inviting external party to our active directory so i believe all of you are clear with the lab and it is very simple as well yes from this video we learned how to create azure active directory users how to create active directory groups and what is active directory in simple in our next video uh, i'll explain what is a uh, multi-factor authentication and how to configure multi-factor authentication or enable mfa so these are the concepts that we'll learn in our next video so if you would like to uh, get more content you can subscribe to this channel cloud learner pro and please share and support this channel and thanks for your uh, time in watching this video